God with us. Jesus being as planned, God with us, fully demonstrated God's gracious love and his redeeming power giving help for man to desire and achieve victory over the source and features of sin. By abiding in the Lord Jesus and him abiding in us is the way the Lord has given for us to fully overcome through him earth's malady. That which is indwelt in the mortal and corruptible flesh of mankind, the very nature of sin, is able to be replaced by our accepting and following the Son of God, who was sent in his righteous divine nature, clothed in humanity, to become the righteous Son of Man. The calling for us in Christ Jesus is to desire to come out of our spiritual Egypt. Sin with all of its recognizable symptoms in the soul of man, which dwells in the heart, mind, and spirit of all mankind, yields to the authority of the Lord Jesus when he reigns as Lord and King in our lives. By the inheritance of Adam's fall, sin has been divinely targeted by the righteous Lord God for removal. From the very beginning, we are by God's plan called upon to identify and remove away from all appearances and characteristics of sin. By ever moving towards the prize and high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Truly, by hearing, trusting, and believing the gospel message, we are accepting, and as it was planned, ever growing in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus and our Heavenly Father. Accepting the Lord Jesus, who was sent by the Heavenly Father for us, leads us to accept the only way to the eternal place the Lord has prepared for those of us who obediently abide living and growing in victory by Him. It is truly a blessing to accept the Lord Jesus and find in Him life-giving pleasure and lasting delight by hearing the Father, by Jesus ever saying to us, for victory over our carnal, sinful nature, here am I. I find it to our advantage to grow in knowledge of our Heavenly Father and Lord Jesus. It is indeed a pleasure to recognize it was from the beginning planned for us to be fruitful and have the humble image and righteous likeness of our gracious, righteous Lord God. Jeremiah 31.3 The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee.